Hey Rangers, today we're going to be reviewing Haven't You Heard? I'm Sakamoto. And now, I will say this, I'm I'm bound to get his name completely wrong. It, it's one thing that I, I find it easy, is like Sakamoto. And then suddenly I'll just rem I'll call him like Sakamoto or something, something completely different. So if I say it wrong, at least I've said it. This will also contain spoilers in case you've not seen it. But yeah, let's begin. The very general gist, how I saw this originally was like a meme, a short video of like, um, like, oh my god, this guy is so stylish, and he's doing all these, like, cool things. Like, someone would throw water over him and he would dodge, or, you know, someone would do the prank where the thing would fall on his head and suddenly he'd catch it. Um, or a bee would be in the, uh, anime, and suddenly he would fight it with, like, a protractor. And I generally thought, wow, this is really cool. But when you watch the anime, when you always watch those, all those episodes, it gets the part where it's boring. The reason why I say it's always boring is it's the same. It's just everything is the same. He comes out on top no matter what. And this to me is when it gets a bit kind of like, oh, okay, cool. So on disc one, you get episodes one to nine, which are roughly 26 minutes each. Disc two has episodes 10 to 13, and again, are 26 minutes each. Special features, the only things you really get are the, the opening and closing clean like credits, which is basically no text, Japanese promo, as well as some trailers. So let's have a look at the animation. Now, everything is kind of always focused around Sukamoto, and it's, pretty much drawn really beautifully. Um, I've got to admit, I do like some of the animation. It reminds me such of like the Doshindans, um, and there's like multiple ones where you know, it's really kind of a, a pretty boy type anime where he's drawn pretty, all the other characters are drawn pretty as well. Um, and the main kind of animation is everything that he does, he always comes up on top. So he could be running to school uh, and the teacher's like, haha, I've got you now. And he'll slide straight in or he'll jump over and somersault. The, uh, in other ones, is like the bee as it comes into the room and everyone's really scared that it's going to sting them. And Sakamoto is there going like, yeah, you know, fighting it, deflecting it and, you know, suddenly catches it and lets it go and everyone's like, oh. There are loads of like key points in this anime which... There isn't a set story like in some animes where you have here's the introduction of the character, loads of things happen to the, uh, the other characters, and then you know at the very end you get the conclusion. This anime is pretty much based up of like kind of small stories, which is really nice and kind of interesting. But after I think possibly maybe three or four episodes, it's just the same. And I always believe that you have to have a balance, so you have really a lot of good but then later on you got to have some downside to it and pretty much I got very bored of this. The animation was fine, but I got very bored of the same sort of thing over and over and over again. It kind of reminded me of like the uh, Haruhu Suzumiya, I keep saying the name, and I'll have to say the full name, the Melancholies of Haruhu Suzumiya, where that was always the same up to a certain part and that kind of annoyed me a bit. It also felt like the animation, like sometimes you see some sort of change in the animation. Something is completely different, but it stayed the same. And also you had a very lot of slow motion moments, um, which kind of like made you go, oh, okay, this is fine for a little bit. And then it got kind of samey. To me, there was not enough decent writing in this anime. It felt very kind of, the same. So it starts off with something happening to Sakamoto and then he would come out on top. I think like you, it starts also getting a kind of a little bit weird and that's with the his friend's mum. That kind of weirded me out a little bit because she's happily married, she loves her husband, but as soon as Sakamoto comes it's like oh I've got to get him, I've got to be with him, I've got to kiss him, he's got to love me. And I generally thought wow like just 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 wow um it kind of really put me off a lot of times and like, even when he made this like whole speech of video uh he's hiding it the hiding part was quite funny um but when he had to make a video saying like you know stay with your husband you know you think of, think of your kid you know she's like oh yes and it's just like oh i i don't know what the conclusion was it was meant for him to or it was meant for her to, to say hey i love you i want to spend the rest of my time with you and he's like oh i can't but you kind of think that he would have said it very briefly straight away rather than having to make a dvd uh, and hide and do a lot of things there was also other elements of like these school bullies now they don't like him at first and they want to go and fight him and they want to take him down and then over time like they become his friends and i kind of like that and then all of a sudden much later on you know one of them turns against him and i'm just like 
oh, this, this is kind of really boring. There, there is nothing interesting. And even like, it comes to a snow scene and they're throwing snowballs and then all of a sudden one of them thinks that Sakamoto's thrown over a grenade and he's like, oh my God, like it's going to explode. It's, it's going to do something. What my God, what, what am I going to do? And you're like, for about, I think a couple of minutes or maybe five minutes, this is all that matters. And I'm like, come on guys, seriously. You know, can we have something completely different? I did like the kind of McDonald's thing where so Sakamoto becomes like a like fast food guy. Uh, and then suddenly like, when one of the guys gets bullied because he has to hand over his money to these bullies, like he's there and he's just like, you forgot your condiments, you know, you forgot this. And he throws stuff to defeat him. I kind of liked some of those elements. That was really fun. But I kind of got bored. And when writing this, uh, like this review, all I... I I, it just all blurred into one. So it could be like, oh, Sakamoto is trying to find a cat. Oh, wait, he, he's now a manager of this? And I just went, oh, okay. So the writing didn't stand out because it was just the same. I think the, the one of the things that was slightly different was when Sakamoto is talking to everybody at his school and saying, look, you know, it's the end of the year, you know, we've graduated, go forth, do stuff. Uh, and then all of a sudden, like, you know, this bully comes up because he's been like manipulated into actually attacking him and taking out Sakamoto. So you know that if anything goes wrong, it's all about him and things will be fine. And they start, he starts going and attacking, he's dodging, but he's still giving the speech. I think that was kind of cool. But again, I just, I feel like this could have been such a really cool anime, but it was just completely overrun with, he comes out on top regardless of any situation. And he never learns a lesson like, oh, I've, I've been going through life for this huge massive thing like it's this huge massive uh like great time but one time i fail i'm guessing that if he'd lost something he would then go into thinking about himself and that would show progression of the character um but pretty much anything that he does he always comes up on top and that got boring to me now each character is pretty much boring as well there is nothing that really stands out you know they either idolize sakamoto or they don't they hate him but there was nothing to me that really stood out. You could say the mum to some degree, but again, there was nothing to make me go, oh, I really like that. Oh, you know, that character is my favorite. Like I couldn't tell you their names. I could write them down. But normally when you think of like characters, you think of their names, you're able to roll them off the tongue and go, oh, I really like Sasuke from Naruto. Oh, I really like Vegeta from Dragon Ball Super. And then, but when it comes to Sakamoto, that's the only name you know. Um, the music, I will have to admit, was quite cool, um, but again, none of the characters really stood out. So what made this interesting for me? There wasn't a lot. I found myself very bored halfway through. Um, I watched all the episodes, but again, I can't really remember a lot of them. And this is down to how that the anime should do. It should say, hey, do you remember this episode in episode 12? Do you remember in this episode here? Um, so it didn't make it interesting at all. And I, I kind of really had high hopes for this anime. I was like, I'm really excited about this. Um, but I just kind of got a bit uh, about it. You do remember little things like the mother going crazy and wanting to have the babies of Sakamoto. Uh, again, you had the fast food restaurant. And then again, later on, when the bullies think that when Sakamoto has fallen down a hole that he's gone to a different dimension or he's gone to another part of the planet and everyone's like, what? Oh, you know, these are little things that you, when thinking about it, but I have to really kind of think about it uh, just to kind of bring it back into my head so I can replay it. But again, not a lot made this interesting for me. So my final thoughts. Originally, I did find this interesting. That's the reason why I chose to review it. Um, the first few episodes are really funny, you know, they really make you, oh, that's, that's hilarious. But then it just drags on and you get kind of bored of it, I think. Uh, to me, I, I just didn't really want to continue watching it after a while. And it's one of those animes that I wouldn't particularly come back to revisit. If they did a second season and it was slightly different where he doesn't always come up on top or he does at times, then maybe I'll be fine to actually watch it. But this could just be a standalone anime. It, it has the whole thing of introduction to the character. And then you have the final episode where he's saying goodbye. And I think... For a standalone anime, this would be perfect. If you did a second season, third season, I think it would just be more of the same and it would be kind of a bit, yeah. It did feel that at times every single character, if they weren't fawning over him, if they weren't in love with him, um, that Sakamoto would be target number one, that everyone would go after him, like they couldn't let it lie. And that to me was a little bit boring because once you've done it once, 
and all the other people are doing the same. It's just kind of, uh, like, they didn't have a plan. Like, if one person said, right, well, I'm going to drench him in water, and then someone else turns around and says, okay, well, that plan didn't work. The next plan will work, and it's going to be me throwing sand over him or, you know, making him look foolish. You know, these sorts of plans. But it was either, I'm going to go punch him, I'm going to go attack him, and then, oh, I'm going to make him look bad. And these are the things that kind of made it samey and just not really that interesting. And I hate to say it's possibly one of the, not the worst animes that I've seen, but it was also an anime that I generally wouldn't enjoy again. Um, and I could just watch it once and then I wouldn't go back. I mean, even the last episode, I got bored and turned it off because it was a clip show. It was like, oh, let's make a film about Sakamoto because he's done so much. And I was like, he's not done a lot for you guys. So they make this film and it's like all the moments, all the best. It was a clip show. And I'm like, why? But again, I just turned it off because I, I I didn't want to re-watch what I'd previously watched and then have like people commenting over it like, do you remember the time when Sakamoto, he helped me at the restaurant and threw like condiments at people? I remember, that was great times. And then you're like, cool, I'm reliving it. Or do you remember the time when I went to attack him on the stage? Yeah, I can't believe I did that. Same thing, just it was a waste of an episode. That one you could have had is the last one, um, and what you could have had a different episode of him maybe seeing his home life, seeing what it was more like. But again, I was kind of bored with it. Would I get this? I, I would have to say no. If you kind of like that sort of style, if you like the thoughts of him winning all the time, and you've seen trailers and you think, okay, I can dig this, then then go for it. Me personally, I wouldn't recommend it to my friends. Um, I wouldn't even talk about it again after this. Um, if there's a second season, I'll briefly look at a trailer, and if it's any good, I'll review it. But from the, at this point in time, I do not particularly want to watch this anime. Um, so for me, I'm going to pass. So the main question is to you, Rangers. Would you get this, yes or no? Do you like the thought of, the, of a guy always winning and not having any kind of problems? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you like this video, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the other videos on the channel. If you want to help out the channel on Patreon, link is in the description down below. And as always, Rangers, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.